For the longest time, I thought that I was a bad coder. I wasn't meant to be one. I wasn't a natural programmer. I wasn't natty. And I don't mean steroids. I mean that I just sucked at writing code. I sucked at writing it and learning it. And for me, I remember the most confusing part was that I could actually read code and understand it. Like when we have a class, an assignment, or there is like an example code that is given to us. I could understand every single step of that code. But when it was my time to write it, I would blank. I couldn't do it. This feeling might be familiar to you. And in this video, I'll explain why you can understand code, but you can't actually write it. And of course, we'll also see how you can become better at it. So let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Zorbek. I'm a senior software engineer working at the tech startup in the Empire State Building. Throughout the years, I've used different technologies, React, TypeScript, Node.js, GraphQL, PostgreSQL. I've dabbled in Java, C, C++, Python, and a bunch of different technologies. No flex. But I was once a beginner as well, walking on the same path that you're currently on. We all started somewhere. But many of us face a similar issue. It's just hard to write code from scratch. So what's going wrong here? The thing that you have to realize is if you're learning to code online or through school or whatever, most systems are focused on input-based learning. So you get a lot of inputs. You have to listen to a video, listen to a lecture, read the tutorial, read syntax, read documentation, code. So it's a lot of inputs that you're getting, but we're not spending nearly enough time actually writing code. And that's the very first thing to fix the obvious. You have to start writing more code. And one way to do it is to start working on different projects. Think simple programs that you can do and start writing them. Never look at the solution if you have an assignment or something. Focus on just writing. Spend an hour writing. Once you're stuck, try to Google it. Try to, you can use ChatGPT as well to get you unstuck and go to the next step. Once you're stuck, go through that cycle again and repeat it until you're stuck for multiple hours and you're not able to find a solution. At that moment only, you can look at the solution and read the full code. But otherwise, don't do it. So you train yourself to actually go through the process of writing code from scratch. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll become at this. Also, you don't have to stay alone. Join some kind of community. Do that with your friends. Talk, discuss, review each other's code. I've created a Discord for people in this community. It's called the Codebender Nation. People share different projects that they're working on there. So you can join different groups like that because that will inspire you, that will boost your motivation, that will show you what's possible to do. Because that leads to the second issue that most likely you're facing is that I would bet that the code that you're writing or that you're even used to reading is probably boring. It's some very boring, generic stuff that have no real use case in the world that doesn't solve any kind of problem. It's like a little app, like a to-do list app. Code is a tool to provide the value, to solve problems, to build cool stuff. And you're probably spending too much time reversing linked lists to realize it. Now, especially with the era of AI, there is so many things that you can do. I've shown you a few examples on this channel. Some projects that I've built, like I built an MGT chatbot in a few hours, or I built an AI that generates video ideas for Mr. Beast. You can check it out on this channel. Most likely, you're not gonna be able to work on those types of projects inside of the classes that you're taking, because unfortunately, that's the way the system is set up. It's not optimized for your success. So if you just rely on how the system is built, how this sort of a matrix is created, you're not gonna be successful. You're not gonna reach any kind of high level of success. You're gonna be the same as everyone else. If you wanna stand out, you need to start work on things like that. So most likely for those things, you'll have to work on it as personal projects whenever you have time, but you're gonna get rewarded massively for it if you do it. Because not only you're gonna stand out from the crowd, but also if that's what I would recommend, when you work on those types of projects, post them online, post them on Twitter, on YouTube, on TikTok, like whatever it is, whatever the platform that you choose, Post them online, make it visible. The worst case is just a few people are gonna notice it, you're gonna interact with people, you're gonna meet other people. But the best case scenario is that if you build something that is actually interesting, you're gonna win big time. Because bro, things are going crazy right now with AI. You don't know what's happening. And there's people making a lot of money building little apps that solve, solve a very specific problem. So if you as part of those personal projects that you're working on, you post them online, you make them visible, people discover them. You honestly don't know how much money you could be making with this. That's what I would advise you to do. Another roadblock that you might be facing, bro, is the fear of making mistakes. Like, I know I had that problem when I would stare at the code for hours and I was afraid to even write it because I thought that it's probably wrong what I'm gonna write. And also if by accident you get your code to work, you don't wanna touch it anymore because it's like code becomes some kind of magic that you're afraid to touch. It's a mysterious creature that if you change one parameter, everything might break and you have no idea of, of what to do. The first thing is you need to change this mindset. You need to be more comfortable with the idea of making mistakes and learning from those mistakes. I make mistakes every day. 
still to this day, with years of experience, I still make mistakes. And I see people who are much more experienced than me, and they also make mistakes. Obviously, it's mistakes at a different level, but everyone makes mistakes. But the difference between two types of programmers, one who makes mistakes and sees it as something that is completely natural and is just a step in the learning process of becoming better. And then you have another programmer who is super stressed as soon as he makes mistakes, he's afraid, he doesn't want to try anything, he doesn't want to get away from his comfort zone. Obviously, this programmer, that fear will help him back. He will never achieve anything substantial. He will learn at a super slow pace. Compared to the other one who's not afraid to break things, go fast, learn, make mistakes, talk to other people, review code, search online, chat GPT, whatever it is, you keep learning from those mistakes. You keep a beginner mindset of acknowledging that you're gonna be making mistakes along the way and learning from them. So that's the mindset shift that you need to adopt. And I know it's not easy, man. Like for me, for sure it wasn't easy. Maybe for some people it was more easy. But a simple trick that I can recommend is to adopt a time system where, for example, if you're stuck and afraid of making a mistake and you don't know where to start, you assign yourself maximum 30 minutes, let's say. You have 30 minutes of time, maybe you put a timer on your phone, to think through the problem. If you're not able to get it, you start Googling, you start using ChatGPT or different tools to get unstuck from like step one to step two. And you repeat this. Once you're in step two, again, 30 minute timer, you try to figure out how to do that step by yourself. If that doesn't work, use outside tools. And then you progress like that step by step until you get there. Do that a few times, literally like three, four, five times, and you're gonna get a lot more comfortable. And every single time you're gonna get better at it, and then you won't even need like a system of timer or something like that, you'll be very relaxed. Right? The fourth point that I wanna mention is patience. Actually, impatience. A lot of you guys have zero patience. You want results super quickly. Obviously, everyone wants results quickly, but you have to realize that it takes time to reach a certain level of proficiency in something that is valuable. So for example, if coding is a power that you wanna reach and acquire and if it's truly something that is powerful, there is no way that you can learn it quick. It's completely ridiculous to think that you can learn to code in a few days or a few weeks, and then if you're stuck a little bit, then that's the end of the world, you, you, you have to give up. Think about it this way. If there was a way to learn to code super quickly, super easily, then it would make it super accessible for everyone, and then it makes it completely valueless. It's not valuable anymore. Because if there's any level of power that is accessible to the vast majority of the population and everyone can get it, then it normalizes it. And it means that it's not powerful anymore. It becomes the norm. And then another thing is gonna be, another thing that is hard to get, that's gonna be real power. So you have to think about it. Learning to code is gonna take you time. It's gonna take months. You could get to a beginner level relatively quickly, but if you wanna get pretty good at it. And now in the era of AI, I don't think there is a spot to become bad or average. I think you have to aim to become good. That's gonna take time, completely normal. Pretty quickly, like I said, you can get to a level where you can start building some apps, building some interesting things. But to become really good at it, to not make mistakes that beginners make, that's gonna take time. It's completely normal. Be patient. A lot of people that you will see, friends, people learning to code are gonna give up because they lack that trait. They're impatient. They give up quickly. But that's not us. For us, we want to become code benders, and the code bender never gives up. The code bender keep pushing. He understands that it takes time to reach greatness, and he continuously improve. He focuses on consistency over speed. To wrap it up, if you understand code but can't actually code, don't be too hard on yourself. It's a mistake that a lot of beginners make. It's completely normal. If you want to fix it, just remember to practice, work on real projects, focus on logic over syntax, learn from your mistakes, engage with other people, and stay consistent. If you want to get ideas for badass projects that you could work on to improve, you can sign up to the Codebender newsletter. Link is below. I'll share a bunch of them there. And if you want to see an example of an interesting AI project that took me just a few hours to build, you can check out this video where I created an AI version of Ryan Trahan.